So mother was making strawberry jam on the weekend. And I wanted to have some with some English muffins, but we didn't have any. So I thought I'd make some. This is my first attempt at making English muffins. I thought they turned out pretty good. So let's see how they're done. For our ingredients, I'm going to be using one package of yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one half cup of warm water, one half cup of milk, one third cup of butter, I melted it, and three cups of flour. To begin our process, I'm going to get the container I had the warm water in, and I'm going to add the yeast to it. I'm using instant yeast so I can use it right away, I don't have to really do anything. But if you're using standard issue yeast, you might want to let it propagate first. And I'll just set that aside, grab the thing of milk, and in the milk I'm going to add my melted butter, as well as my sugar. And then give it a little bit of a stir. May as well add the salt to it this time as well. It's convenient. And then another stir to make sure it's all nice and combined and we'll set that aside. So now we'll get ourselves a good mixing bowl and then we'll add our flour to our mixing bowl. And we have all of our ingredients right here in front of us now. So I'm just gonna add in the buttermilk mixture and then I'll attempt to mix it, realize that it's far too dry and then add all the water in anyway. And then start mixing it up to create ourselves a nice batter for our delicious English muffins. Now this is probably the type of batter that you could just combine all the ingredients in the bowl, leave it in the fridge overnight and it will pretty much make itself. But uh, I'm gonna just knead it up by hand. It doesn't take much to knead it all together to create a cohesive piece of dough and I'm just gonna let it rise till it doubles in size. Of course I might also fall asleep and let it rise for another four or five hours. But that's neither here nor there. It doesn't take very long to get it all kneaded together. And once you think you got it pretty good, we're just gonna transfer it into another bowl that I'm gonna have pre-oiled. Of course you could knead this on the counter too if you want, but I didn't feel like cleaning the counter to a super high level of standard today. So we just coat the bottom of the bowl with some oil. We transfer our dough into it. We cover with a towel and we let it sit till it doubles in size. And before you know it, it'll be done. So we pop the towel off and then we get ourselves a plate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip pieces of the dough off and we're gonna mold them into uh, disc shapes, kind of like hockey pucks. You're looking for a round shape like a hockey puck, but probably about half the thickness of one, uh, maybe three quarters of the thickness of the international unit of the hockey puck. This is very similar to the way that I make hamburgers and I think it worked out okay for doing this. The only problem I had was that in ones that I didn't have enough that I pulled additional material off and added it to it. I probably should have kneaded it together before just kind of trying to press it into shape. So that didn't quite do what I wanted. And of course, once we have them all shaped up, then we're gonna cover them with a little bit of cornmeal. And this is really going to help the frying process by looking more authentic. So we're going to cook this uh, slow style. So I get the frying pan on the stove and then before turning the frying pan on I actually place down all of the different um, English muffin patties which you can hold quite a few this size pan and uh, because it takes so long to cook them I actually put a second pan on the other side of the stove so I can cook it all in one go, which wasn't really a big deal. And I'm just kind of pressing them out to try to get the best shape on them as I set them in the pan. And you can see the ones where I added some of the dough to them because they don't hold together in the same way, which is definitely something that I'll learn from the next time I make these. And once they're all on the pan, then we'll turn on the heat. We're looking for kind of a medium low temperature. Now, because we're slow cooking these, it's not very exciting. So we're cooking them for about seven to 15 minutes till we have a nice kind of golden brown on the bottom. And then we're gonna flip them. And on the top side, before we flip them, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit more of our cornmeal. That way we have cornmeal on both sides. And then after they're flipped, another seven to 15 minutes, and then we're done. Now they didn't turn out as holy as the ones that you usually get at the store. And I think a lot of that has to do with 
the amount of time you give it to rise and then after you uh, make them into patties you can kind of proof them as well and I think a lot of the variance in that is how they get the perfected ones in the store but as far as these ones they may have been a little bit different than the store-bought ones but they sure were delicious and once I cracked one of them open had the fresh strawberry jam on there it was just fantastic so no complaints there but I still want to see if I can figure out how to get that tight uh, knurled webbing in the inside of a conventional English muffin it perplexes me so anyway that's the end of this one if you like my content please like and subscribe any suggestions for future videos or if you got an idea how to make these things even better let me know in the comments below and until next time stay awesome